Hello guys and welcome back to Wakey Two Wheels. Back with another little uh, review product opening thing kind of thing. You can see in front of you my new helmet which I've done a video on before. Awesome helmet. And you notice there's no camera set up and that is what this video is for. Because I have just... What is that mark on my table? I have just received a package today and it is from, don't need that, a company called Chin Mounts. Now I'll give you exactly three seconds to guess what they do. Yes that's right, they make Chin Mounts. Now I'm a bit late to the party with these things. These things have been out for a while. And there is loads of reviews on YouTube for them. So please don't just take my word for it. Uh, go out and watch those videos yourself. Uh, there are websites, there's no instructions with them. But there are websites and YouTube channels telling you how to fit them. And it is pretty straightforward. So uh, let's get on with it. Open that up. There is a QR code on the back of this. Uh, is it going to focus? Are you going to focus? Focus. There we go. QR code right there. And that, if you scan that on your phone, it will take you straight to the website that will tell you how to fit them. And it also give you reviews. And uh, tell you other people's opinions of them, like this one. So. This is not a sponsored channel, I've had to go out and buy this myself. And it comes with a. I'm sorry, the camera is not focusing at all. Right, it comes with a little alcohol wipe to uh, clean the area that you're going to uh, affix it to. It comes with a safety tether, which I will talk about in a bit. And then it comes with the actual chin mount. And from the start you can tell it is a... Uh, uh, what, call it, uh, what, what do you call it? 3D printed, that's it. 3D printed piece of plastic. But it's strong and it's good quality. Got chin mounts logo on the side. And it seems to be good quality. Uh, it's got the 3M adhesive. And that should fix to my helmet without actually interrupting the function of my vents. So it might be a bit harder to use the vents, but at least you can use them. And it looks like it. The fix is right in there. Yeah, that is, and it's not hard to centre them because the fit is that good that as soon as you press it to your helmet, it's centred. Fantastic. Now this, this is the safety tether, which I'll show you in a bit. And what this does is, it is like a, a fail safe for your GoPro camera. So there's an anchor point which they say to put at the side of your helmet somewhere and then this string and then you you fix one end to the GoPro camera and the other end to the anchor and if this does fa fail and fall off this will catch your, uh, your GoPro camera saving you a lot of money but yeah we'll fix that later as well let me just anchor it to there. There we go. So, yeah. Right then, let's get on with fixing it. Right, so, I start by placing it up to the helmet and making sure you know where, the, where you want it, where it's not going to interfere with any of the functions of the helmet and you want to make sure that it's not too low 
that when you place the helmet down it's going to knock it on the table because that would put in far too much pressure on it so I, I want it about there Oops. I want it about there so I'm going to make a mental note of that then what you do is you heat up the adhesive uh, do not use too hot a heat you want to get it warm not hot I'm using uh, my wife's hair dryer bless her and what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat up I'm going to heat up this adhesive so it's warm but I'm also going to heat up the area where it's going as well All right but before we do that we're going to use this alcohol wipe just to clean the area down and then give it a chance to dry Clean that bit. Clean that bit. That is where it's going to go. Get that away. I can even use a hairdryer just to dry that off a little bit. So, let's heat up this adhesive. Now if you can hear me, I'm doing it in front of where I want to put it so it's heating both up at the same time. Alright, and then we're going to peel off the off the backing. Now this stuff, oh you can tell this stuff is very very sticky. Very very sticky. I have no nails to do this with. Alright. And then what you do is you put it to where you want it. And then apply pressure for 30 to 60 seconds. After you put it on, so I'm just going to apply pressure to that area. There we go. All right, so count to 30. One, two, 28, 29, 30. Right. Now, from the get-go, uh, there is a little bit of wobble there, but the company say to leave that for 24 hours to set. So sadly, I won't be able to film it out today. But hey ho. Right. See if I can find a decent spot to fit my uh, trouble with this helmet is it's got that many creases and folds. I think it's going to be there, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be there. Come on. hang over the edge a tiny little smidge but as long as it's not interfering with the function of the helmet and it's just a fail safe so we're not relying on this we're just hoping that this will catch the camera if this mount fails already I can feel that setting and it feels very strong already but 24 hours so this piece of string 
Uh, I'll show you actually. Give me a second. Right, now this is not the GoPro I normally use. I normally get to uh, use this for doing like special shots on the bike. Right, so just attach that to that. And let's have a play. Oh, wrong way. Take it that way. Oop. And there you go, it is in. And that, it'll be a different kind of camera, but that is the, the way it'll sit on the helmet. Now what I'll do with this piece of string is I will tie this into the uh, the uh, mounts at the bottom. So if that does fall off, then we have we've got something to grab hold of there. So I'll put it inside the uh, the screw threads. That feels very secure. So yeah, so I'm going to leave that to set, and then we've got a decent uh, setup. I will set my mic up inside as well. But yeah, very happy with that. Uh, go to the website. Like I said, this is not sponsored, <coughs> but I do recommend these. Uh, they are a, a really clean way of setting up your helmet. And I'm not just talking to motor vloggers, I'm talking to people who like to go dirt biking and stuff like that and film what they do. Uh, or people that use GoPros and stuff like that as action cameras, as, sorry, uh, people who use GoPros as uh, dash cams to record the ride and make sure there's no foul play. But yeah, that, that feels really secure already. So yeah, I'm going to leave that 24 hours to set and then we'll we'll take it for a ride and see how we go. So yeah, chin mounts. Check out the website. So guys, this is what was testing the new uh, GoPro helmet setup and Tell us what you think. How does it look to you? It looks to me like a very clean way of having it, of having your camera set up on your face. I don't know what the shot looks like right now until I get back home onto the onto the laptop. I might need to adjust it up or curve it back down or side to side, whatever. But yeah. It's taken all the pressure off the side of my head and it's amazing what a difference that makes having uh, the weight of a GoPro camera or uh, not this is an Osmo action uh, on the side of your helmet it is uh, you don't realize how much weight is actually there there's a couple of things I wanted to say about chin mounts that uh, I didn't say in the first part of the, the video is that we're going to what the company are fantastic I had a I had problems I put a, a little post on one of their advertisements on uh, Facebook saying I haven't received my confirmation email yet and uh, straight away I got a reply saying can you please personal message me so we can sort this out I uh, I messaged them and it turns out it was my fault. <laughs> it was my fault because I gave them the wrong contact uh, contact address. But the speed at which he sorted that out and got me my email just to make sure because I have been let down with companies before on uh, that I found on Facebook. And uh, I was a bit paranoid that I just sent some money to some random person and that money had gone up in smoke but uh, it wasn't the case they were absolutely fantastic he said if you if you need anything else please email me so Matt at chin mounts you are fantastic thank you uh, another thing when I opened the box I'll be honest when I opened the box 
I was a bit skeptical about the uh, the little uh, backup anchor with a piece of string on it. I was a bit skeptical about that because what that said to me at first was, does the company not trust its own product? But thinking about it, no, they're just being they're just being careful. This is a very good product. It is very sturdy on my on my face right now. I don't feel any rocking about, I don't feel any vibration in the camera. But you've got to consider some of these GoPros are going for the best chunk of a thousand pounds. And you've got that resting on the front of your face, you want something to back up your mount. That's just common sense logic. So yeah. Chin mounts you're doing a good job. And I would well recommend the uh, the product. I say again, this is not a sponsored video. I've had to go out and buy this chin mount myself. But I will be using it. And I will keep you up to date on, on how, it, how it works. Uh, like I said, this is 24 hours after I actually set the, the thing on the helmet. So it's only the first day. I will let you know what goes on and how long it lasts and if it lasts forever. So yeah, thanks for watching this video, hope you all ride safe, and I will see you all out there, bye for now.